here we are with this family in uh, South Charlotte. I'm sorry, in uh, West Charlotte, and they're in school, and everything is great. And we decide to uproot our family because we want a better situation for them and a better situation for us. So we decided to move from West Charlotte to South Charlotte, where it was a different situation and a different environment school-wise. And so what I remember about that is we enjoyed living in our little house in West Charlotte. Our kids had awesome friends. We were right near my mother, which was great. Talk to me about what you felt when we made that move to South Charlotte. What were your hopes? What surprised you about the move as far as the education that they were getting and what you found out they were getting in at the schools in South Charlotte? Well, first of all, I need to credit you for initiating that move because I know that you had come home and you had you had been to some kind of a school regional function when they were going over statistics about the schools that were in Charlotte in general, mm -hmm. and they were reviewing Southern performance standards in the schools. And you had highlighted schools that our kids were supposed to be going to where we were living. And at the time, Cameron was in uh, seventh grade, Lauren was in like the third grade. Mm -hmm. And you came home and said, hey, we really need to sort of like refocus and maybe look at something different. And I think that happened right at the same time that this house that was in South Charlotte, you found. Mm -hmm. And you sort of pressed me to take a look at it because we had other plans. We had other plans. And so, but, you know, I felt like, okay, after I saw the house and the house made a big difference because this house is an amazing house. It's, it's a California contemporary house with these soaring ceilings and these tall, clear story windows. Mm -hmm. And the house was built, you know, back in the late 70s and in a, in a community of other houses that were very distinctive. Mm -hmm. And with me being an architectural engineer, I had a certain attraction to that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but the house needed a ton of work, as you mm -hmm. recall, but we were able to get the house at a very reasonable cost because it was in a certain state of disrepair. Yeah, yeah. And so I felt good about that. But moving to South Charlotte was totally different for me. I, I was not very familiar with that area. I think we had been in Charlotte at the time for 13 years. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, well, we would shop out that way. We, occasionally. All the, all the books. So, so just to, you know, the socioeconomic realities of Charlotte, there were no bookstores in West Charlotte. And both of us are avid book readers and book purchasers. And right. so we would every now and then like just put everybody in the car, go to Barnes and Noble, but we had to go to South Charlotte to even get a bookstore. No, actually we used to go to Gastonia well, all the time. Well, we had to go to Gastonia yeah, too. Yeah, 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 we used to go but, to Gastonia. But the, but the point is Charlotte itself, they put all the resources yes, in yes, South yeah, Charlotte. Oh. Yeah. So I know that when I discovered that we moved and our kids had been getting great grades in their schools and they were in town development and all of that. But we moved to South Charlotte and discovered that the education that they we thought they were getting was awesome, was really a little bit substandard, that there was a whole level of education that was happening it was. in other parts of town. And for me, I felt very let down as a native person, a native Charlottean, that a person's academic life would be so impacted by their zip code. And I know I would love to live in a world where it didn't matter where you lived, that your zip code didn't dictate what you knew. But I feel like I was glad that we were able to make that move. But sometimes I feel a little, a little, I can't really put my finger on it, but it just doesn't feel right that I had to move in order for my children to get an education. Mm -hmm. And what about people who didn't have the opportunity yeah. to move? But one thing I will say, though, and this is in looking in the rearview mirror, I think that was one of the most important decisions that we made for Cameron and Lauren's education. Yeah. And I think that moving to South Charlotte and getting them involved with a more rigorous school experience, mm -hmm. going to probably the two best schools in Charlotte at mm -hmm. the time was a great thing. And I think that that really, in a large part, has carried them through being successful in college. Yeah. And also being successful professionals that they are right now. Yeah. A lot of that goes back to them coming to a new environment, a, a totally different socioeconomic environment, mm -hmm. being in South Charlotte, mm -hmm. being around other kids that were different from them, but still being able to integrate themselves mm -hmm. and make friends, friends that they still have to this day. 
Yeah. You know, if you recall, our son got married two years ago and every one of his eight grooms were, were friends of from his middle from, school. from middle school and yeah. high school. Yeah. And so that move to South Charlotte, I think, was 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 strategic on our part. Yeah. I don't know how much, whether we knew how much of an impact that was going to make on them. I don't think we did. But, but it has. Yeah. And I mean, and they weren't that happy at the time. Yeah. No, they but weren't. But that not. just goes to show you that not all not, your parents oftentimes know what's better for you in the long run. Yeah. And I wouldn't trade that move and that decision for anything. I think that's a pivotal decision that that's that's made them into the it helped make them into yeah. the productive people that they are right now. Thank you for listening to the story from the Institute for Family Shine on North Carolina campaign. Hear the full story and discover how you can share your own by visiting our website at shineonnorthcarolina.com.